Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are in a hurry and the kids are not in a hurry. So only I am in a hurry. Basically we are racing to the barn for lessons. We have early lessons this morning and we need a million things before we go. So Sophie's ran down to get a saddle pad. Gabby's ran down to get our first aid kit that we leave at the barn and we're headed for lessons with Fiona. I'm excited. We haven't had lessons with her for a week and we're late. Okay, so before we go, because they're starting to arrive now, Sophie's here, um, I have a question for you guys. Something that I've been thinking about the last couple of days, and I posed this question to all of my family. If you were not afraid, what would you do? Like, some of you guys are like, I'm not afraid, Laura, but yeah, we all have fears. We all are afraid of some things. If you were not afraid, what would you do? Would you go to school again? Would you get a divorce? Would you get married? Would you have a baby? Would you buy a new horse? Would you sell a horse? Would you move to a whole new area? Would you switch trainers? Would you would you go out and make new friends? Like if you were not afraid, what would you do? Comment below. I'm really curious to know. And then at the end of this video, I'll try and remember and tell you what I would do. Why, hello, handsome. They were both like by the gate. Hi, you were by the gate. You were trapped there. Hello. Yeah, I love you. They were there all by themselves. Oh, you got blue today. You're a blue boy. I yeah. Know, that one you know, we've been trying to find uh, boots for him. So they're like a specific protective boot. Do we not have any for Finn? I'm trying to. Oh, I just poked him in the eye. I'm sorry. He does have one pair? Mm -hmm. What color? Blue. But Blue. those are supportive or, or protective? Both. And we just want protective. Anyways. Yeah. A holy moly fin. And Chino. <laughs> Is that what you do when you see your people? You poop? Hi. Oh. Hi, big guy. I oh, know they both pooped, but anyways, good morning. Welcome to today's video. We're excited. I went to get coffee and I got two cookies for Fiona. I always get cookies for Fiona, and the girls are like, Give me those cookies. <laughs> they never, I know they never usually eat, eat cookies, but it was, it tastes disgusting. Yeah, no, well, we saved Fiona then. Good job, girls. Whoa, he's got a big scratch. Something happened out there. He was running through the trees. That's a, a tree scratch, I can tell. Essentially, you guys know that Sophie switched to jumpers this year, and she was in a series of shows. Like, the show that Sophie did this year has three shows. You almost dropped Sophie's saddle on the ground? Yeah. Wait, what? What, are you riding him? I'm riding both. Okay, so you're just gonna flat him for a little bit, and then ride, okay, well that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so what I was saying is that Sophie's uh, jumper show is three, it's a three show series. Uh, the first show she came in third, the second show she came in second, and the third show is on Saturday. So we're going to see how that ends. Things are happening on the day by day farm, on the day by day channel. My girls are actually using different saddle pads suddenly. I know you think that this is a treat day and you will get treats, I promise. Okay, he still has curly hair. And that I already showed you guys his mane, how it got changed after he got <gasps> braided. All right, we got one girl done, one girl ready. Oh, close the trunk, yeah. That's what happens when you I leave the trunk open. It is glorious outside, you guys. It's freezing cold, like a fall day. But at the same time, you can feel the sun coming. All right, we're done like a lot of eye-opening stuff like every time you have a lesson sometimes pieces of the puzzle Sophie got a, Gabby got a fly in her mouth who here has not had a fly fly in their mouth if you are a horse person you've had a fly fly in your mouth the girls have the show on the weekend and we made a plan for our fall rides like they have a few more shows that they need to get through until winter like through the fall and um, but we've made a plan for things that we're going to do throughout the fall to kind of like reward our horses and, and make them more relaxed and make them more happy just to be horses and 
So I'll share that with you guys probably in a later video. Anyways, Gabby's just giving Finny a, a shower, a bath, because he really kicked up a lot of dirt on him while he was riding today. We're excited for the show. Are you excited for the show? Mm -hmm. We're gonna get to see so many things. Like Gabby and Sophie are both gonna ride him in a jumper show and it's gonna be interesting to see the differences. Obviously, Gab Sophie will have the advantage because she rides him all the time, but Gabby really likes to ride him and he rides really Where's well for standing? Gabby. Yeah, Gabby's like, look. He's... Used to be scared of this. Go this. He was close yeah, to all that work Sophie's done with him. He's actually standing. And He's... me. Yeah, and you. You helped. Who's the one who was him? I was him. Yeah. thought that Finn would like relax and get used to something because this boy is not a relaxed kind of pony. He is a relaxed pony. He's probably mad at him. I know. I've been told that I have a calming thing about me. You have been told that you have a calming thing yeah, about you? Yeah, by you, Fiona, and Brandon, and some people. I don't know. Yeah, you're like, ride crazy. you're like your dad like that. But, no. Sam and I just went to vote and it, with the whole COVID stuff. Man, it's just annoying. Like, you used to be able to just go in, vote, and be done. Now you have to stand and listen to a thousand rules and and wait in line. And it's more annoying for sure. How'd you feel about your experience of voting, Sam? Well, it was a lot quicker than it's going to be on voting day. Yeah, we came early. We did advanced voting. See if we can make a difference, you guys. If you can vote, you should vote. Do they? We got eggs. So I think if there's only one of these and three of those, I have not collected for a long time. No, because this the one that lays this egg lays every day. That's the white one. I know. These are all the eggs that we got today. We have a lot of blue eggs, you guys. I'm excited. I might eat an egg right now. We're literally five minutes late to take the mares off the field, and they know. We're standing up, all lined up, ready to go at the gate. Yeah, Penny's waiting for me. She's a smart girl. So, this is becoming a problem. Someone has abducted my mare. Gabby's like, I know you're going to use that as a title now, but that would be a good title. Someone has abducted my mare. She's been kidnapped. Kidnapped! And now I inherited a little mini. <laughs> Sophie wants to trade back. You don't know the skills. She does this sometimes. Maybe she's saying she wants me. <laughs> I have skills, Gabby. She listens to me. She loves me. Well, I'm stuck with you, Willow. I'm, st I'm stuck with you. What do you think? This pony loves me too. Yeah, aw. She does love me. So for the record, I'm wearing running shoes today and Willow just stepped on my toe, but it was the tip of my shoe and it didn't hit my toe. It just held onto my shoe and my body was still walking, but my shoe was underneath Willow. And I almost went flying. All right, everybody's scared because our barn is turning into a mess until we figure out how we're gonna set everything up. All right, so I have a little story time here for you guys for a second. Long ago, like soon after I bought Penny, so almost a year ago, um, someone sent me a message and they said, she said, Laura, I had a dream that you guys moved to a new farm, which we're hoping to do soon. And I took Penny over. And it's Sophie took Penny over and oh. it was. On her stall. Oh, sorry. And it's Sophie took Penny over on me and it got really close to her and got really into gated horses. And then as soon after I got that message, like I believed that, but soon after I got that message, I dreamed it myself and we were at a new farm and we were in like a big field and it was like spring. So like the horses had had time off, I guess. And Sophie was out there working and working with Penny. And I don't know like what the whole story is, but I 
believe in God having a plan and everything being planned and written before you live it. And I just feel that this is the progression that life has always been meant to take for us. You guys know it's almost Sophie's birthday. Right here. And what she wants for her birthday is none of those. Right here. So she wants an iPad for her birthday. Yes, yeah. She wants an iPad for her birthday. I like this one. And the bigger one. What's the same, man. And so. Well, one's an iPad Air. One's an iPad. That's the newest one. So anyway, her birthday's in a month, but she has a hard time waiting. So she is thinking about just coming and buying an iPad. But I want this. Maybe not necessarily this one, but I like Samsung. Uh oh. I like Samsung a lot better. That's my thing, Samsung's. She decided on one. She was gonna buy it. Alright, so she's gonna show you what she got in a minute. I was having trouble navigating my car, and Sophie says, Mom, you ride horses, you should be good at tight turns. Like, have you ever seen me? Have you ever seen me do a tight turn on a horse? No, never, never, and probably never happens. All right, we are done with school for today, and I'm gonna show you guys what Sophie got. So she did end up getting an iPad, but she didn't get an iPad iPad. She got a Samsung. Tablet. A Samsung. It's not a tablet. Well, I mean, it's a tablet, but an iPad Don't is. Don't move it. Don't move it. An iPad is a tablet too. So she got this one. Why'd you get this one, Sophie? Um, because it was in my budget. Because this one was more in her budget. This is it. This is the one that she got. And I'm jealous because I want one of those for me. I want a bigger one, though. From the box, it looks like it's going to be tiny. Yeah. But it's actually big. 10.4 inches, I think it was. Mm. And Gabby's over there just uh, having a brain-dead moment from school. School is exhausting. So anyways, we've done all that. I tried to do some cleaning up, some laundry, uh, but we, now we have to head out again. Like some days, especially during the school year, especially during the week, there's not much time for relaxing or doing other stuff. It's just go, go, go. And this year I've decided like we're gonna do school totally differently. Last year, every year, it's pretty much controlled our lives like it does with, uh, non-homeschool people, but the whole idea about homeschooling is you're supposed to uh, homeschool around life. And I have never been really good at that, so I'm gonna try and do that a little bit more this year. Even though Gabby's in grade nine, but she'll be able to take her work with her wherever she needs to go. She won't need me as much, but yeah. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna take you guys with us. Can you guess where we're headed? Can you guess? These are the apples that we bought at the apple orchard the other day, and I like a good apple every once in a while. And we got a mixture of them. I don't know which one I want. I know I already asked you guys a question. If you were not afraid, what would you do? What change would you make? What would you do with your life? But now I want to ask you what's your favorite kind of apple. In Canada, apples are huge. Not huge as in big, but like apples are a big, a big, what are they, Sam? Apples, like we have big apple season. They're a big harvest for us. Look how dark it is. Do you see it? That's so dark. Can't see it outside. When I am film outside, it looks bright out, but it's dark. I called Storm. It's dark. You are Storm, yeah. Oh, you can't hear. Oh, you can only see the white spot in him. Don't let any other horses come. Storm's in a new field. Uh-oh. Don't want any other horses. <laughs> Those are his friends. So we got a bigger field, you guys. And all of his friends are here. There you go. You can't see. You can just hear. Uh oh, you're waiting to get in. I'm like standing here handing storm treats and the girl can't even get in to put her horse in. Okay, go, go. Oh, another horse is biting my hand. All right, go. Okay, you need me to help you? Now that I brought them all to the gate. <laughs> Gave storm all my treats. He's such a good boy. He's such a gentle boy. I just helped with his brother. His brother is not a gentle boy. Which might be why his brother's faster rider. You're okay. We love you. That's it. I, you guys can't see. Did you get it? See you later. We love you. So oh, I called Storm and like it's pitch black out there. I called Storm and 
he just flew to the gate. Like, he's more awake and more, more, he was more like a normal storm there today. Like yes, the other day when Sylvie rode him, he was kind of sleepy looking, but today he was normal storm and he was happy. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way you are, just the way you can.